Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I'm going to be sweltering in my garage. It's over 90 degrees in here. But I wanted to try to stonewash a blade of the knife. So this is going to be my first attempt. So stay tuned. What I will be using to try this out is some rocks. These are smooth rocks that I had picked up at Lowe's. They're like river rocks, mini river rocks. I have some WD-40. I have a just a magnetic tray here with all the parts that I put when I took apart the knife so I don't lose the little screws and things like that. These are always good. They're magnetic too. Really good to have. And I have a rock tumbler. That this is a, a rather inexpensive rock tumbler that we picked up at um, 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 I'll, I'll remember it Harbor Freight there we go so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put some rocks in here some oil and the blade and I'll be right back <laughs> It is really sweltering out here, so I'm rushing this video so I don't die of heat exhaustion. Alright, so I have the stones and the blade of the knife in here. By the way, this is the blade out of my Gerber Remix Tactical, which I was not a big fan of. So for my first try at this, I'm, I'm using a knife that I'm not too fond of. So we'll go ahead and set this into the rock tumbler. Turn it on. And I'll check on it, check on it in about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and open this up and take a look. By the way, this rock tumbler can be had at Harbor Freight, Freight uh, Harbor Freight for about forty dollars. If I could ever say a sentence without messing it up, it'll be the end of the world. <laughs> how it's looking so far. Alright, um, it looks like, let me get a paper towel here. And it looks like some of the finish is starting to wear a little bit. It has this uh, titanium uh, type of finish on it and it's slowly working its way off so it's definitely going to take some time. But um, we'll put it back in and probably give it about uh, another hour and a half and then we'll take a look at it. Uh, see, I can't get a sentence straight. We'll uh, take a look at it after it's had a total of two hours in the rock tumbler. That seems to be the number that I hear on YouTube from other channels who have done this. So please stay tuned and we'll be back in two hours. Well, I've had this in here for about two hours but um, actually it was a little bit more but let me tell you what I had to do the the blade let me let me turn this off 
the blade had a lot of these uh, machining grooves in it in this on this particular knife. And what was happening was when I left it in there for um, about 30 minutes and it wasn't doing anything because of those grooves. The rocks were basically only hitting the very tops of those ridges. So you really got to start with a blade that has a smooth surface. So what I did was I um, rounded on my, my sander here and sanded off all the ridges. I polished it up a little bit with the buffing wheel. Then I threw it back in here for two hours. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. There's what it looks like. It looks like a big, uh, nasty mess of rocks. They're all black now. Um, maybe I'll wipe off a rock and see what it looks like, too. But there's the blade right out of it. It looks uh, really greasy, nasty. Let's go ahead and wipe it off. Oh, that looks outstanding. Oh, I love the look of this. This, this came out great. Okay, so this this basically was my test case before I do my um, American Lawman by Cold Steel. I wanted to try this on on this cheaper one first. So, huh? You you want to see it? <laughs> I'm screwing around so much. All right, you ready? Here you go. Look at that. That came out gorgeous. Um, the camera probably doesn't do any justice to this. Let me see if I can go ahead and put some extra light on there. And you can see it's definitely stonewashed. It looks like it's been um, basically professionally stonewashed. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this knife. I want to keep this short. It is the 4th of July and I hope you um, by the time you see this uh, it'll be over but I hope you had a great Independence Day. So let me go ahead and get this all together and we'll take a final look at it. Well, while putting it together, the screw that holds the thumb plate into the top, just uh, the head just broke right off. I didn't even torque it down that much. Um, this is a knife I have not been very impressed with the, the tactical remix at all, but I did want you to see what the, the blade looked like you know, on a black handle, the um, stonewash blade there, which I just really, really just love the way this came out. So I'm looking forward to doing my American Lawman. And uh, if you hear some big bangs in the background, that's some fireworks. One quick note, um, very dull when it comes out after beating it against rocks for two hours. So you will have to sharpen your blade almost forgot to tell you so if you're planning on doing this and thinking you're gonna have a sharp edge when you get done you you have to have the means to be able to sharpen your knife so before you start have a plan make sure you um, have the tools to sharpen your knife or know somebody that can so again um, I hope you have a great 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 uh, Independence Day or had a great Independence Day and I will see you on Tuesday, so I appreciate every friend, viewer, and subscriber out there, and you.